woman stares at the old man. She sees that his card is a seven of diamonds. She immediately puts her hand on her chin and gestures. She tells the casino owner in code. It turns out they were going to team up to win the old man's ten million dollars. And when the old man's oldest pupil saw this, he told the old man to stop gambling. But the casino owner provoked him by saying, if you can't lose, go home and rest. The old man used the excuse that he was drunk. He dragged his young apprentice, Gao Jin. He ordered him to open the cards for him. Then he pulled away the woman who was giving the signal. Gao Jin came up and acted like a novice. He deliberately mixed up the two cards in his hand to confuse his opponent and lower his guard. Oh no, I've forgotten which card is the bottom card. Can I just draw one myself? The casino owner agrees straight away, ready to leave Gao Jin penniless. Then Gao Jin picked out a seven of diamonds to make a straight tile. At that moment, the bald man on the sidelines pulled out a pair of jacks. He calculated that Gao Jin could not make a five card straight. He raised his hand and raised two million. Gao Jin took a look, immediately concluded that this bald man had calculated he couldn't make a straight with his cards. So he deliberately lifted his bottom card and took a look. He pretended to be confident. Not only did he call the bet for two million, he also added an extra three million to make bald head think that his bottom card made a straight and he was the biggest at the table. Sure enough, look at Gao Jin's confident look. The casino bosses didn't dare to risk ten million on the hand. They they were so scared that they abandoned the game and didn't call. At this point, Gao Jin smiled happily. You're lucky I'm a straight. Seeing that Gao Jin took out a pair of eights, pretending to win with a straight, the casino owner was directly confused. But on second thought, this guy didn't cheat. He won the game with his real skills. He had to accept the truth.